Hello there! So first of all, if you're wondering why my hair is purple, you probably missed my previous video where I painted my hair. It's still very purple. I've washed it several times, it's still, it's still purple, so it's hanging in there. I am very excited and also very nervous about this video today. I'm an artist who paints, not an artist who crafts. So I think a lot of people presume that if you're good at painting, you're naturally good at all crafty things, all creative forms of outlets and stuff. And I can honestly tell you from a personal experience that I, I can't craft for, 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 for crap. I get hot and sweaty before I even like, this, this, this is why I can't craft. More purple here. No practice with it, I've never put time into it. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I lose my glue guns for a pastime. I'm I'm a determined person. I de I'm determined to not be a bad crafter anymore. I'm determined and you can hold me accountable for that. I'm determined. Also a disclaimer, if I use the words artist and crafter separately, I'm not saying that crafters aren't artists because they are. Artists can cover a broad range of different types of creative people. Um, when I just refer to myself as an artist, I just mean the artist that, that paints, that draws, versus the artist that crafts, if that makes sense. So I'm not saying that crafters aren't artists. So I was sent this Disney Villains craft box kit by Sophie and Toffee, and I've never purchased from them before, I've never received a box from them before, so I don't really know what to expect, but they got a hold of me thanks to my lovely friend Jackie Nerdy Crafter. She is literally, I met her last year in person, she is one of the most genuinely beautiful human beings that I've ever met in my life. She is such a lovely person. But yes, I was sent this box for free, so thank you to Sophie and Toffee. I will leave a link to their products, their website, in the description down below if you want to check them out. Uh, first things first, I did not paint my desk because it was covered in paint and I couldn't get it off. Um, and it's definitely not still... Sticky! Right, opening the box up. I'm very excited, I'm very excited what's inside. Oh, this is so cool. This is probably the nicest quality box that I've ever touched in my life. Like on the on the the box rating meter of quality boxes, I'd probably say this was like a 17 out of 10. I have a meet me on the other side sticker. I'm just really excited about this because this is like a proper Disney thing. And I think that's why Jackie told me about this company because she knew that I love Disney a lot. Okay, so inside we have the Disney villains brochure. Oh my gosh, this is such nice quality. Okay, so the next box, if you were to subscribe, I believe is a Cinderella box, which is quite cool. So I'll put that to the side. So the first thing we have is this piece of cardboard with some key rings and some like jewelry bits on it and these powdery things, which I really don't have a clue what they are because I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> They're like pigments of some kind. Next up, we have little metal character things. There's an Ursula. Then we have um, her from Alice in, Alice in Wonderland. That's the one, the, the um, Queen of Hearts. We have the Evil Queen. She is my, she, wait, was she, yes, the Evil Queen. We have Maleficent, very cool. Jafar. And last but not least is this, Corella de Vil. Corella de Vil, look at this. Next up we have these little, um, they are villains shaker bits. Shaker bits. Next up we have this thing, which I'm gonna refer to most of this stuff as a thing because I really have never, a resin film. What's a resin film? I don't know what that is. It's, oh, you can see my, my blister. Sorry about that, that's gross. There you go. Jackie, if you're watching this and I'm doing something I shouldn't be, I'm so sorry. Please, please teach me your crafty ways because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this is, is that a coffin? Oh, wait, what? Is that a potion? Maybe a potion bottle. I thought, oh, look, it's a coffin. That's not very nice, but it's apparently maybe a pendant of some kind that you can do something with resin. I don't really know what you do with it. Whatever this is, is that a flame? Have another packet of rubbery things and inside, oh, this goes inside there. I'm guessing that's so you can stick a hole through the middle. A horseshoe, a very odd shaped mold that looks like whatever that is. Okay, so we have some UV resin for silicone moulds, so I'm guessing these go into here somehow. Maybe we mix up the pigment 
with the UV resin, that's what I'm guessing, but as a noob at this stuff, I could be totally wrong. Um, crystal LED UV resin. One's UV resin, one's crystal LED UV resin. I really don't have a clue, I'm, I'm clueless. Next we have some shaker oil, food grade, for use in shaker pieces to create floating effect. Two more bottles and these are AB resin, part A and part B. I'm so confused, Jackie help me, what is this? How's, what's the difference? I know that resin's like a clear thing that hardens and covers stuff and inserts itself into stuff. Little tiny moulds of evil villainy stuff. Then we have some more moulds and these, these are a lot bigger. So we have all of these moulds as well, which is really cool with this like silicone. Um, but yeah, these are nice. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with them yet, but I'm, I'm excited to try. I'm nervous, but I'm also excited. So we have all of these little pieces, as you can see. Don't look at my blister, because it's gross. So we only have one sheet of instructions in this entire booklet, so... I'm kind of scared, because I don't know what I'm doing. Should I cheat and watch Jackie's video? Because she's gonna do it properly, and I'm gonna make a mess. Ooh, is that an air bubble? No! How did I manage that? I'm going to make the rose a reddish pink color. That's smart, Jackie. It's all good. I have two small little metal containers like this. Okay, so Jackie took some of the pigment and mixed it with that. So, how much do I use? During curing, heat will be emitted from the resin. Avoid getting resin onto your skin or clothing. Wear gloves and other protective clothing if necessary. I'm ready. Don't spray on me. No, don't touch me. Okay. Right, we're going to put you in. Oh, it's so globby. Okay. Oh, it smells. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells of something strong. Why can I not unscrew this? There's tape on it. It's just a 20 minute video of me trying to get tape off of things. It still won't bloody open. Open up, damn it. Of all the things I thought I would struggle with today, it was not opening a jar of pigment. I managed to open the container. I get hot and sweaty before I even like, this, this, this is why I can't craft. I need like a little spoon, but I don't have a little spoon. So I'm just gonna plop it in like that. That's fine, that's fine. That's messy, but that's fine. I'm gonna use this tortillion to mix it. Very good. And I'm going to pour that into the heart section of, that's on my table. Now I know from what I'm hearing that resin is difficult to not get air bubbles in. So we're gonna, we're gonna push this around in hopes that we get rid of all air bubbles. But on my first try, if I manage to do that, then um, it'll be a miracle. So I've put that there. This stuff stinks. I'm gonna use this deep purple shade on the rest, this is quite fun. We're gonna stick this in there like that. And then we're gonna add some pigment. Cool. And I think this is gonna be a good shade. This is very sticky. We're going to pour it onto this region. Oh, I think I've, I've buggered the heart up. I think I should have cured it first. Oh well, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. Okay. That's going to have a really funky looking back. Cool. Okay. I'm curing it. It's curing. This is cool. I'm, I'm happy. I really wish that face ID wasn't a thing right now because when you have to wear a mask, it just doesn't recognize you. Take the resin again, this time the clear one, put it right on top to make it more shiny. And as you can see from my demonstration, it's not that hard to make it shiny. The stuff stinks. I'm getting a headache. So I was watching some of Jackie's video and she actually said what I was thinking. She said that there's no yellow in this box, which is kind of inconvenient for some of the, some of the crafts because you need yellow for like the crown and stuff. I'm just gonna stick my lamp upside down and do that. Ooh, this is so neat. Okay, so I think it's cured. Are you ready for this? I made that. 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 I made that.
made that. Even if I did, there's a chunk missing. I've got an air bubble. There's several air bubbles in there. So it doesn't look that great up close, but it still looks pretty cool. So my, my, my masterpiece here, I've just added the little charm. I'm adding some crystal LED resin, which apparently there's hair in it. There's a hair in it. No. Okay, I'm gonna see what my little charm looks like. Ooh, it's got, it's got a bubble. Damn it, how did that happen? There's a little bloody bubble. Do you see the bubble thing? I'm going to do one of these charms now. I have no clue what these things are for. Like, I have no idea. I could do that, right? I could do that. That would look quite cool if I put the little charm inside. I don't know all the differences between the crystal LED UV resin and the UV resin. Um, come on, this tape sucks. Oh, it's seeping out. Crap! I didn't think I didn't think it would do that. Oh no. This one I'm gonna try to be super fancy with though, because I'm gonna stick this red for her face. That was a mistake. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna put some dark purple in there. All of the, that was all of the purple. That was not good. I'm genuinely trying as well. I just make a mess with everything that I do. I don't have the right tools, that's the issue. I don't have the right tools. And I don't know what I'm doing. More purple here. Shoot. Right, so it's bad that I've got the resin on the metal because you don't want that because then it's gonna cure on the metal. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know if I should bother curing this to be honest because it looks really bad. I know all the crafters out there are laughing at me right now. Okay, she is beautiful. Look at her. Can anyone, okay, someone tell me how. Like obviously this looks like crap, but how do you avoid the resin from sinking? Because I've noticed that's happened a lot. Is it just I don't fill it up enough? Or what, what is that exactly? I've ripped her face off. So she's gonna go in, she's gonna go straight in the bin. The last thing that I wanna do is make one of these little potion bottle things because I feel like that's really cute. I'm guessing it's this stuff that I put in. But I could be wrong. Right, so I filled this up with the crystal LED resin. I don't know if that's the right thing to put in or not because they didn't give me really, well, they did give me instructions to be fair. I'm gonna add some dots of pigment like this. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in there and then I'm gonna work on the other side as well. Oh, that looks cool though. Look how the pigment's sort of like smeared like that. That looks quite neat. Okay, I'm gonna stick this one in now. I have made such a mess on my desk. Look at the state of it. That cured really nicely. This one probably needs to go again. Oh, there's a massive, there's a massive bubble in that one. There is a massive bubble. Damn. What I'm gonna do now is stick this UV resin all the way down this hole. Cause I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Now this, this kit is so decent like they put a lot of stuff into this and I like that a lot I think the only thing I would ask more of would be for more like maybe instructions and maybe some yellow pigment to go with this stuff as a beginner this is definitely not a beginner's box for me because uh, I really don't know what I'm doing <gasps> oh it's so pretty I made this one and it looks like it has some magic inside Look at the gap, there is a big gap there. There's a big gap, but uh, that's my fault. You're supposed to take these with a rubber band, tie them together, and then fill it that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna just fill the bottles. I feel like this is gonna, this is gonna escape somehow. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. No! It fell out! <laughs> it fell over! And then it all just dripped. a pain in the ass. Look at that perfection. It's 
perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but look, it's perfect. You know what? I'm going to show you a close up of my beautiful creations because these are fabulous and I'm very proud. This is stunning. Look at that. Very deliberate air bubbles on this side. Then we have this one, which is still sticky for some reason. Copyright Disney there. That came out quite nicely. Then lastly, we have my beautiful little resin heart with the metal thing inside. It made a bit of a mess too, but for my first craft, it doesn't look that bad. Till you look at the back, but we're not gonna look there. I am exhausted. I only did three crafts. I have a headache because this stuff stinks. Um, but honestly, this craft box that is put together for $44, this is a really good craft box. I'm very, very impressed. I would 100, like 100 million percent subscribe to this myself if I was a crafter. Um, will I continue to attempt to craft with these boxes? I might. With a bit of practice, I might understand how to do it a bit better and maybe I'll actually be a decent crafter one day. <laughs> But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to see me try crafting part two, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. But yes, thank you for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.